give the lecture on how the digestive behavior and productivity of wheat variety under optimum and stressed agronomic management condition as we know wheat is the one of the most important crop in this world and a crop of a region of prosperity and these are the some important region where the wheat has been growing china is the first then followed by the india then ussr and then america wheat is having 14% of the total arable 14% of total arable land and this total 14% of total arable land is contributing 30% protein to all the people and calories to the 4.5 billion people across the world in the future it is very tough for a people to supply food to 2 billion extra people in 2050 so it is a very big challenge at the present time in the last few decades we started to recognize the another problem is the global warming it is happening because of the high concentration of the greenhouse gas especially carbon dioxide concentration we can see here the concentration is increasing steadily up to the uh, 400 ppm right now here and it will go up to the 1000 ppm in 2000 Uh, 100 century so it is very unimaginable and may create the problem of the different type like adversity in the form of like drought flood and that could will create the food crisis and leads the whole population will come under the misery and re- recently it started faced so many drought in our country so it is very uh, important to understand the uh, how this frequency can be minimized by the long term effect of this warming so this is urgent need to think from change genome up to the agronomic management practices how to make our agriculture system will be sustainable so here uh, the objective has been designed in a very uh, f- good way by considering the above background to find out the most suitable wheat cultivar under different nutrient and water management condition and second was to evaluate response of wheat cultivar and their rigidity parameter under nutrient source water and heat stress condition under the field condition the experiment was very nicely designed and it was found that when we apply the irrigation at all the critical stages is given the best result and in between the nutrient management it was found that when we apply the nutrient at 50% rdf and 50% rdn in that case the yield was very good and among the variety we, we found that the sd2967 have given the highest yield in both the year and then it was followed by the sd2987 uh, and when we compare the interaction of the irrigation and variety because the irrigation is one of the very important input and costly affair for the agriculture as we know 70% of the water we are using in the agriculture so here we can see the sd2967 is giving very good result when the irrigation was applied at all the critical stages but when the irrigation was reduced means two irrigation and one irrigation the yield drastically reduced but in the case of uh, sd2987 we can see here the when uh, irrigation was given at all critical stages the it was no doubt good but when it was reduced to two irrigation and one irrigation there was no much reduction in the yield so from here we can say that this is the very good variety under the field condition where the water is really a big problem after that we also calculated the benefit cost ratio of this variety and what we found that the maximum gross return and uh, net return and benefit cost ratio was found when the irrigation was given at all critical stage and in between the uh, nutrient management levels we found that the bc ratio was good when we applied nutrient through the in the form of in organic it happened when we applied the uh, 50% rdm and 50% rd and no doubt the gross return was very high but but uh, because of their labor cost and uh, uh, cost of the fym that may be the reason the return was not come good as compared to the solely in inorganic fertilized plot so that's why the bc ratio is the less and among the variety what we found that as the 2967 given a very good gross return net return and benefit cost ratio and then was slightly followed by the as the 2987 in gross return net return and uh, if you see in the second year the sg2987 given very good result of the bc ratio it uh, indicate that it 
in second year there was a adversity of the high rainfall and some climate was not favorable for the wheat cultivation so in that condition also the sg 2987 given good yield in adversity also that is why the second year sg 2987 given high vc ratio as compared to the other variety the second experiment was that was conducted under the net house and phytotron condition this two set of the experiment was conducted so the first experiment was the use of the fim to make a rhizosphere priming in the uh, wheat and after that we transferred this uh, parts into the phytotron condition for the heat exposure for three days and temperature was uh, 3 degrees centigrade above than of that day's ambient temperature and the temperature was given like this way the first set was given heat state first second and third week after flowering second set only two time given first and second week after flowering third set given first and fourth week after flowering and fourth set was given only one heat stress at second week after flowering the purpose of these two check the fluctuation and the intensity of the heat state how the cultivar is behaving and what we found that when we applied FYM as a rhizosphering priming approach the yield of both cultivar is very was very good and uh, we found that when the heat stress was given at uh, first and fourth week after flowering there was not uh, there was maximum yield and the minimum yield was recorded when the heat stress given was first, second and third week after flowering and even we can see here a single application of heat stress at second week after flowering 